Welcome to Fully Spooled. On this episode, we're doing the final step of the auto to manual conversion on the SC400, and that's installing a factory five-speed brake pedal. As I'm sure most of you know, the SC400 and the V8 Soarers never came with a manual transmission option, and only a handful of the SC300s or six-cylinder Soarers did. So when swapping from an automatic to manual transmission, the options for pedals are kind of limited, but there are a few options. The first one would be just buying an entire aftermarket pedal kit from someone like Willowood, which is very expensive, reliable, and really high quality, but very expensive. Another way to do it would be to find a factory set of manual pedals on eBay or a Craigslist, but usually because there are so few of those out there, they're very expensive and kind of hard to find. So the third option is the option that I took, which is kind of piecemealing a little bit of aftermarket and a little bit of OEM. So here are the pedals as they currently sit. We have the aftermarket clutch pedal here from excessive manufacturing, and then we have an automatic brake pedal and then the gas pedal. And the biggest issue here, obviously, is how close these two pedals are. So what some people do is they'll just cut the left side of the brake pedal off, meaning that this would be the brake pedal on this side, and then that gives you like a four inch you know, distance between the two pedals. But the problem I see is if I go to jam my left foot on the clutch pedal, my toe could easily hit the brake pedal arm here, which is no good. So I've decided to go and buy a factory five-speed brake pedal, which hopefully, if it installs even something a little bit like this will allow me to have much more room between the two and I won't be you know, hitting my brake pedal by accident. So this should be pretty easy to install. I have already unhooked my little bolt that goes from the brake master cylinder push rod here to the brake pedal. So all it should have to do hopefully is undo this bolt up top here, slide this pedal out and slide the new one in. Hopefully. Just so the camera can fit, I'm hanging upside down in the car. Because, you know, why not? I gotta get that YouTube footage. There we go. So when ordering this new brake, one thing I didn't think about is this bushing right here, which is obviously there on the factory part, but not on the brake pedal here. I'm gonna try to salvage this one because I don't have a new one yet. See if I can pull this guy out. Actually, I totally can. If it's still in one P, oh, it's kind of cracked, but I can at least use this one for now to install it. Then later on, I can go back and get a new one. But yeah, it's, it's cracked on both sides. Um, but I will, uh, I guess I'll use this one for now. Great. And then the other issue, I guess, would be this thing right here, which is really messed up on my very high mileage brake pedal. But this is a, uh, a little plastic piece right here that's used for the uh, brake light switch. Otherwise, I'm afraid the brake light switch might actually go through the hole here. So I got to figure out what to do about that. Maybe I can find some kind of other piece of plastic that I can put on there. I'm not even sure what this piece looked like from the factory, to be honest. I should go look that up as well. I just found it online. It's five bucks for this little piece of plastic. It's kind of ridiculous, but whatever. Oh, it's bad enough lying under a car upside down or under a dashboard with carpet, but doing it on metal with, oh, that's not comfortable. Well, already it looks better. There's a lot more room between these two pedals, but I spent so much time last episode trying to get it so they're all the same height, and now we have the brake pedal, which is probably about an inch higher than the clutch pedal now, and they're both higher than the gas pedal, but the gas pedal's not hooked up to the throttle cable yet, so that I'll hold off till later. So for now, I can just adjust my threads on my push rods to make these guys be as close as possible. Since my clutch pedal already fits pretty well and goes down to about an inch above the uh, floor, I think I'm just going to match my brake pedal height to the clutch pedal. So I'm probably just going to have to thread my push rod in a little bit, which will help in or out? Yeah, in. So 
I'll thread my push rod in a little bit to kind of hopefully lower this thing down to the same level as the clutch pedal. So I'm going to go like maybe two or three, I think I just went three turns to push it in a bit. Now let's see if that's any better. I know people love throwing around the term pro tip when it comes to these car channels, but here's an amateur tip from me. Make sure you remove your brake switch before messing around with the brake pedal or you will break it like I just did. So now I gotta buy a new one. Well, that could have gone a whole lot smoother, but I do at least have my clutch and brake pedal set up now, and I'm not worried about my clutch foot hitting my brake pedal. I mean, I would have to be really messing up pretty bad for me to reach all the way over and hit my brake pedal by accident. So I think overall, I'm super happy with this. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I did manage to break my brake light switch, but it isn't that big of a deal because it's a $10 part and looking at the plastic inside, it's pretty brittle from being so old. So not a big loss. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with how the brake pedal went in. It's placed nicely in the middle between the clutch and gas pedal now, so there's not gonna be any accidental left foot brake pedal stabbing. So I feel pretty good about that. And it's way safer than cutting down half the, the uh, automatic brake pedal because it'll actually move everything over and I just feel much safer having a part designed for this car. So anyway, that's it for the episode. It was kind of a short one, but thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Fully Spooled. There's a lot more coming up as always. Uh, please check out my social media links if you wanna follow me on Instagram. I'm very active there these days. And uh, please throw a like and maybe subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.